Elizabeth Scale here from Blue Rose Paper Treasures. I'm not sure if you can see this properly because there seems to be a bit of a shadow somewhere. It might just be the way I'm looking at it. As usual, flying by the seat of my pants, I'm going to show you quickly how I did these yesterday. I'm no expert. I looked at one other video until I figured out how to do it. And this is tissue paper watercolouring. And I used the sheets from our laser cut paper and the window sheets that we um, get and I just use the tissue paper in between for today I'm just going to use normal tissue paper that I bought at my local cheapo shop or news agents or supermarket still works the same way um, this one I did with a couple of I did with three inkers and I embossed with white and this one I did also with three inkers and I um, I don't know if you can see it I embossed with silver this is only going to be a quick video, I'm not going to show you how to put the cards together. I'm just going to show you how I did it. Okay, alright, baking tray, first thing. Wax proof paper in the bottom, baking paper, whatever you want to call it, whatever country you're in. And I'm going to use, I'm going to do the reinker one first. Now this is what I did earlier. And what I do is I make the paper, I make the tissue paper long enough so that I can lift it off. So I use the nice long strip. And then I actually placed it on a uh, Whisper White cardstock. Because I think why waste the ink on that? And it makes a, a pretty pattern on that. And you can use that for another card base that was just scrap. Um, so that was a, an earlier one I did. Because I need to do one earlier to let it dry to show you the next step. And this one, I actually use brushos. I thought I'd give brushos a try. Now I have ripped it a little bit, and you may do get a bit of ripping, but I've done a nice big piece so that I've still got lots left. And I did the same thing. I just placed it directly onto some Whisper White so that some of the ink can transfer. And look, it makes a really pretty pattern. And you can use that for die cutting or use it as a, as a card base for a background. So that was with brushos. So I'll do one of each today. Um, and this one I did earlier, and I tried some different colours, and this one I used, um, I used a bit of memento, you need to show it on white, let's have a look. I used a bit of memento and crumb cake, and I think I had an old tip top top, so I used a bit of that, and I'll show you, I'm going to try copper on that one, I don't know if it'll work, but it's all experimenting. Alright, I'll do the, um the reinkers first you can use ink pads you can use anything that's water based i just use pineapple punch and i think this is melon mumbo so i just added and a bit of pineapple punch all right now you will get really dirty you can see i've got really inky fingers from this so have baby baby wipes and paper towels, lots and lots of that ready. All right, spritz it a bit with a bit of water, and then I just used an old bone bone scorer to just kind of mix it up a bit, and that'll be enough. Grab your piece of wherever I've got it. There it is. All right, nice long piece. Just gently drop it in and it'll kind of attach itself. Right, I just use my finger very gently if I want a solid colour and I just spread that colour underneath. Just be very gentle that you don't tear the, the tissue paper. Alright, All right, see? Inky finger. Then I just grab a piece of Whisper White and I'll just move this out of the way. See if I can do it this way. See if I can do it. Just carefully pick it up with both ends. That's why I leave a nice big bit. Pick it up carefully. And then just transfer it. Obviously I'm not doing this properly. But and then just transfer it to your Whisper White. Right, now I let that sit there and dry for a little bit. You can take that off straight away. And I've got a, another sheet of um, wax proof paper here. So if you wanted to, oh, hey, flying by the seat of my pants. Who knows what's going to happen today. All right, All right so there's the colour. Right, probably could have blended that a little bit more, but still you could use that for a nice background. And I'll just leave that there to dry for a little bit. 
and that's one of them done. All right, we can't do anything until it's dry. You can you can heat it on the low setting of the heat tool to dry, but tissue paper it won't take that long to dry. All right, so actually there's a little bit left in there. If you had a bit left over, you could use the remaining colour. So I'm going to use brush those now. Is this recording? Okay, and a bit more baking paper. Alright. Oh, right, a bit of brush O's. Spritz it first this time. And I used a bit of Ost Blue. And I just grabbed sea green. Right, spritz again. Now I didn't mix these colours, I just let them blend naturally. Give it a good wet. Grab your tissue paper. And drop it in again. Alright, on that brush O will blend. Probably could have used a bit more because I haven't got quite a solid colour there. Not quite solid enough for me, but you get the idea. Alright, pick it up. Carefully so as not to tear it. And place it on some Whisper White. Now I just kind of flatten it out a bit so I can transfer that colour so I don't waste it. All right, and that's all you need to have torn it a bit, but that's all right, we're not using that bit. All right, maybe pat it down a bit, transfer some colour, ink your fingers, and then just set it aside to dry. Oh, I'll take that off. Let's see what it looks like. I'll get that out of the way. Well, there you go. So you're not wasting the excess ink. I'll just pop that over there to dry. Right, the next step. All right, let's use the one that I did previously. So we're going to keep that for another project. All right, so the next step. There's a few tears in it, but that's okay. Next step, we scrunch it up. And then we open it up very carefully. Alright. Then what we do is we get a piece of white to attach it to. Now I can't find my Tombow, so I'm just going to use some of this. Now you need to give it you need to put glue over the entire piece. I hope you can see that. Uh, this is just some expresses two in one with a a nice little brush on it. I just dab it all over. All right, just using a sponge, just spread it over the entire piece because you want that tissue paper to stick to it. All right, and when we put it on, we just kind of scrunch it up a little bit more. Because those scrunchy bits are the bits that we're going to emboss. So you want lots of scrunchy bits on that. Alright. And we don't need all that. I'll just trim that off. Alright, don't worry about any tears. Because we're going to just, you'll be able to just die cut pieces out of that. Alright. That should be okay to emboss straight away. So, for the blue, I think I might try putting white. I'll emboss that with white. So, our next step is we grab our Versamark. Very carefully. Now, it's a very gentle touch. Oh, sorry, we use our Buddy first. Use your Stampin' Buddy. And then we're going to try and get all those little lumps on there. We're just going to add a little bit of Versamark. It's a very gentle touch. You don't, you've got to have a nice inky pad. 
and just going to gently tap that all the way over. And it's surprising how much it actually gets on it. And we're going to add some white embossing powder. And hope this works. All right, so having a look there, that looks pretty good. Can't quite see it. And we'll heat set that and let's see what happens. Now you may get big blobs down the side where I've, I've pressed the pad onto it. If you could see that first, just wipe it off. But I didn't see that, I'm just going to heat it. Alright, sorry for boring you while I do this. Oh, heat gun's cold, so it's going to take a bit. Oh, I can see that white coming out in it now. our first one. I don't know if you can see that. You can see all the white and the nice texture in that. Now you can use that as a card base like I did in the card that I made. Oops, sorry, excuse my arm. Just use it straight onto the onto the card. Now what happens is when you emboss the shape out of it, it will flatten it a little bit. So you can see that's actually quite quite lumpy. But once you emboss it and it runs through the plates, it will flatten it a bit. Oops, and I've just lost a rhinestone. There we go. Alright, so that's the first one, and that was with the brush O's. Now right, we'll try the next one. I'll do this nice pink and red one. Now this one I used Melon Mumbo and the Pineapple Punch. Once again, just scrunch it up. Open it up. Beautiful colours, these two together. Grab another piece of white cardstock. And that magic glue. Uh, good coverage. Oh. Attach that to it and scrunching it up as you put it on there. Just to give you some more texture. Okay, trim off the ends. Not as much texture in that one as the other one, but that's okay. Alright, this one I'm going to do gold. All right, do the same thing. Whoop, buddy. Don't forget the buddy. Whoop, lots of powder coming out of that. Just gently over where you see all the bumps. Very gently. Now I know I'm going to get some, some of the bits where there's not much in there. These soft, we'll call them mountains and valleys. These valleys, there's going to be some powder on that, so we're just going to grab a brush and brush that off. We'll be able to see it better with the gold. All right, so there's a bit of crumb, just use your finger, Let's get some of that off. Okay, and there's the gold. We'll hit set that. And you can see those mountains, we we'll call them, coming up nice and gold.
Now what I did with the other one yesterday, I just thought it needed a little bit more, so I re-embossed it. Just to make it a little bit more obvious. Oh, it's been my finger. Alright. I don't know if you can see that. All nice and gold. Yep, I think that's enough. Alright, so there's the next one. Now one of the other things you can also do is you can attach them to acetate, our plastic window sheets. So what you would do with that is you glue the back of it and put your tissue paper on the back of it and then emboss an image on the front. I haven't used that with anything yet, but I just wanted to show you that one just to give you a different look to it. And I thought the mermaid looked cute on that paper. Alright, so the same thing, put your glue all over the back of the acetate, put your tissue paper on the back and emboss the front of it. I might try and play with that a little bit later and make a card out of that. So that's another thing that you can use. Now I'm just going to grab that brown one wherever it ended up and I can't find it now. Oh here it is. Alright we'll just see what the copper looks like on this. This might be good for a a male card, masculine card. So I'll we'll scrunch that one up and oh. Oh dear. Oh, I'm going to have to use that one. Alright, let's see this one. Alright, so it's pretty good. It doesn't doesn't tear a lot. Oh, what am I doing? Glue. Glue. I can't find any more white card stock, so I'm just going to use the back of something else I've already done. Glue it, spread out, I probably could have put a bit more glue on that. A little complete coverage. And just sort of smush it up as you lay it down. That's got a lot more mountains in it. Right. Let's see what that looks like with copper. Might look probably better with gold. We'll try copper. Grab our Versamark. Oh, once again, got to do the buddy. It doesn't take much to much Versamark. Very gentle touch. I'll try a bit of copper. I don't know if this is going to match or not. Oh, got to cut off my ends. There we go. Oh, I've ripped it. That's all right. See, destroying things. All right, let's see what the copper looks like. So just experiment with colours. to see that one. We'll see what that looks like with copper. Well, I haven't stuck this down properly because I'm rushing. I just wanted to see what the copper would be. Actually, not too bad. There we go. Not too bad. I'm just experimenting with some different colours to see where it would turn out. There you go. So that is three different um, colours that I've done. The copper, the white and the gold. Play with your colours, see what you can come up with. As I said, when you run it through the big shot, um, it will flatten it a bit, but that's okay. That's okay, so it flattens it out quite nicely, so it sits nicely on the card. One thing I did do is I tried to die cut something, um, I can't remember what it was. It, if you're going to die cut shapes out of it, because you've got the tissue paper on the cardstock, and if it's not quite stuck down in some place and you die cut an image, the tissue paper lifts off the cardstock. So uh, anything with a lot of lines in it, uh, very detailed, 
Um, I did a couple of just uh, shapes. Shapes worked out well. Uh, I did some some nice big shapes there. Um, I was going to do a, it's a nice shape. Um, solid images like the little birdie that worked out okay. Um, I think that's all. And the little flowers, and I did some little flowers as well. But anything that's got a lot of detail, it's probably not the best um, technique for die cutting. Alright, well that's all I wanted to show you today. Um, go away, have fun. That one's already dry. That one I did with brush shows just before, that one's already dry. And I've obviously leaned that on the, the pink and red one so it's come through. So that one's now ready to use. I might play with that. And they're beautiful colours. And like I said, don't forget your backgrounds. You can just put it on um, waxproof paper, but I just thought, why waste it, the ink? So, I'll use that for something as well. Okay, well that's all I wanted to show you today. Um, I thought I'd better do this before I clean up my mess and start doing my housework. Okay, thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you soon with another technique soon. Bye!